Hello. Hello, there we go. There we go. I appreciate you for I, taking time out being on my show. My pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Definitely no problem. So you're from Canada, right? Yeah, um, based out of Ottawa and Toronto. Okay, dope. So you want to tell the people on my platform that don't know like about you and your brand a little bit? Yeah, um, you can ask me anything you want. So I know you got some exclusive stuff coming out that you're working on that you can't talk about yet. So um, I know you got one music video out. How's that going? Was that? Well, at? no, I don't have it out yet. My music, my first music video is coming out um, um, in January, the f probably the first or second week. We haven't set the date quite yet, but it's either the first or second week of January in the new year. Okay. Is that your first song or you got more? Hidden. Oh no, I've got I've got plenty of songs. Um I have over like um 20 songs in the works right now. I'm going to be releasing an album in February. Okay. So you're basically prepping everything. Pretty much. Yeah. Um I I'm uh, working on um releasing my album. Um it'll be the first album that I release. Um, because I've been releasing singles over the last two years. So I first started about two years ago. Um, I guess I'm going, I'm going to, in the new year, I'll be going into my third year. So. So uh, for your brand, is it just you or you got a team with you? I do have a team. I have a manager, um, who's going to be helping me, um, with my, uh, music video release and my album release. Um, he'll also be helping me with some NFTs. Um, cause I also paint as well. Um, music and art is a huge part of my, my journey, my healing journey. Um, so I'm very passionate about painting as well. Um, I enjoy it a lot. It's like my form of meditation, you could say. Um, so, um, he's going to be helping me put together, um, my NFTs as, as well. And yeah, I got a lot in the works right now. It's a busy time for me. <laughs> Definitely. So you're just getting ready. Um, getting ready. What's all your socials, like your um, Twitter, Spotify, YouTube? Well, um, I haven't um, done too much on YouTube. Um, Spotify, you know, I'm still building that up right now. Um, I, uh, my manager is going to be helping me with the playlisting and stuff. Like, as an artist, honestly, um, we're not marketing specialists. And we're not specialists in the business aspect of things, right? Um, so it's really, um, it's really nice to have a manager to help you with the business aspect of, uh, the music business. Right. So, um, he's going to be helping me with like the Spotify playlisting stuff. I don't really know too much about it. Um, and, um, what was the other thing? Oh, Twitter. I don't have a Twitter account. Um, I'm still kind of, um, working on the social media aspect of things. Um, Instagram is like my favorite platform because you can do stuff like this. <laughs> Yeah. Do live. So um, I know you just getting started. What's um, some things you haven't done yet that you want to do as far as like doing shows and like, you know, stuff like that? Right, right. Um, I haven't really gotten involved into shows lately because of the whole pandemic and stuff like that. Um, I do look forward to perhaps um, performing sometimes. I used to do um, live shows when I was first starting off in music um, and, and finding my passion for music. I used to do a lot of local um gigs in ottawa um but now that i'm based out of toronto which is like a bigger city um um where my manager is as well i go back and forth and i do hope to be doing some shows in canada plus in the u.s once my uh, album is out yeah maybe next summer um, i'll probably do some shows in next summer <laughs> if, if the pandemic doesn't get worse obviously you a drake fan drake yeah um to be honest, no. no. I don't really listen to um, um, his style of music. I'm a really big fan of The Weeknd. I love The Weeknd. I remember when The Weeknd was first starting off, like I discovered him from, because he's from Toronto, um, somebody had um, shown me his song, Wicked Game. And that was like um, my favorite back in the day. And I've been a fan of his, um, ever since but um drake's style of music as you can tell if you heard any of my stuff i'm really into the house genre and edm and all my my whole album is edm um and uh so uh, drake doesn't really fall into that category of music 
So yeah. I, I don't really like listen to too much of his stuff, but I know he's, you know, he, he's got a great reputation in, um, you know, in Toronto, Canada and around the world, of course. So yeah. he's a great guy. I just, um, it's just not my genre, unfortunately. Right. It's all good. If you had an opportunity to work with like any big major artist, who would it be? Okay, so um, because I'm in the house genre, Tiesto was my um, my kind of introduction to electronic music. When I was uh, younger, I used to listen to a lot of air, air, air sorry, R and B. Um, and when t uh, when techno first came out, it was Tiesto that started that huge wave. Um, you could and and so like I, you know, he was the one who got me into electronic music. So. I would love to work with Tiesto, David Guetta, a lot of people um, that are big in the um, big producers in the house genre. Um, I, I, I would love to work with them. Um, a lot of my inspirations were Evanescence growing up. I listened to her a lot. Um, some people even say that my style is hers, uh, kind of like her style, but like in the EDM genre instead of like the rock. Um, but um, I, I draw inspiration from a few artists like that I grew up listening to, like Muse um, and Evanescence. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. <laughs> I, I work with uh, one of my really close friends, Jasmine, and we're okay. fusing our two genres because she comes from more of an R&B hip hop background um, genre and I come from the EDM. So we're fusing, fusing both of our um, genres together and creating some uh, really awesome uh, uh, music that's um, a mix of both, like our song Scissors. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard that. I gotta check it out. Yeah, you should dope. definitely check it out. It's doing really good on SoundCloud and SoundCloud is all organic. There's no playlists or anything like that. So um, last I checked, I believe we were at 770,000. So wow. we're almost at 1 million. Yeah, it's on Jasmine's. Um, so my girlfriend, uh, she, I mean, my, my girl, she's um, um, the one I make music with. Life of Jasmine is her Instagram. Uh, we always share each other. So you can definitely find uh, that song that I have with her in my link, uh, in my bio. I think I have the link still up. Yeah, shout out to Jasmine. Shout out Jasmine. Love you, baby. Um, is the goal to stay independent? or you would like to go like major one day? To be honest, I, I would like to stay independent, um, but I will probably work with labels doing single releases. Um, I don't really want to be signed uh, because I, I really love my autonomy. I think working with a manager is important, but now with the, um, with the change in the industry, you don't necessarily need a label to monetize music. Right. So I know the label is big on gotten you more exposure. So I'm open to it, but I'm going to, I'm going to see what happens when my music video drops, uh, when I have more content, my, um, my album, but I really love the autonomy. The reason I started singing was to express myself. Right. So I wouldn't want to ever sing anyone else's written work. Like I know most artists, they don't write their own, like after a certain stage, they don't let, write their own stuff. But for me, the whole po point of doing music is so I could, you know, heal and um, express myself, right? right? In a very fun way. So if I'm not able to say or sing the things that I want to say and sing, um, it's it's gonna hurt me, and um, so if I have complete autonomy, um, then I will be signing to a label. But if I don't have autonomy, um, I'm I'm gonna want to stay independent. So, well, you know, um, I know you got a lot of work coming. Um, I appreciate you for taking time out being on the show. Once you drop everything, we gotta do another interview. Hundred percent. I have a really important song coming out. I just wanna mention it real quick. Um, it's coming out December 22nd, and it's based on a true story um, of my best friend's mother. Her name is Katrina. She might be on this live. Hi, Katrina, uh, if you're here. But um, so this is a story of a woman who has survived a child sex trafficking ring in Canada. So uh, we're going to be breaking the silence on that and I'm raising some awareness. So this is a really important song. I wanted to do it as a Christmas gift. So it's coming out on December 22nd of this year. 
So we're really looking um, forward to that. And um, yeah, so that's my l newest single that's going to be coming out. And then my music video in January and my whole album in um, February. So lots coming very soon. <laughs> Definitely. Really appreciate it. Definitely keep in touch. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'd love to be on it right after maybe my music video releases or my album. Just give me a shout and I'd love to do another um, recap. <laughs> Okay, definitely and will. With new developments. Definitely will. All right, Jerome. Thank you so much uh, for having me. It's Go Rome. Sorry, right? Yeah, Go Rome. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you um, having me on your show. Definitely, no problem. Hope you have a great rest of the day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, appreciate it. Bye. Peace.